everybody, I'm Clint Simone with MotorOne.com and I'm here with the 2020 Toyota RAV4 TRD Off-Road. This is the most expensive Toyota RAV4 you can buy and it's also the most off-road capable of the bunch. Let's check it out. So let's put this in context a little bit. The TRD Off-Road is the most expensive non-hybrid RAV4 available. The base LE RAV4 starts at $25,950 and the TRD Off-Road starts at $35,110. That's basically 10 grand separating those two models. But for that money, you're effectively getting the most optioned out RAV4 available. And that starts with the looks. Now the car you see in front of you wears optional $500 two-tone paint. There's 18-inch matte black wheels and LED fog lights. Those two things are specific to the off-road. Then there's color contrasting black side mirrors and roof rails. Now three exterior colors is a lot on any car and there's no doubt that depending on which way you look at it, this RAV4 looks busy, but it also looks good and it really stands out from the crowd. There's a bunch of interior highlights too, which we'll get to in just a bit. But the other major selling point, at least on paper, is the TRD tuned suspension. Now every RAV4 uses an independent strut front and multi-link rear suspension, but the off-road is the only model that gets TRD specific shocks, struts, and some fancy pants red painted coil springs. Just like the other gas only models, there's a 2.5 liter four cylinder making 205 horsepower and 184 pound feet of torque. Here that means 25 miles per gallon in the city, 32 on the highway, and 27 combined. All-wheel drive is the only option on the TRD off-road. Let's hop inside. All right, so a lot of numbers to go through with the Toyota RAV4 TRD off-road. The one I'm driving right now is 41,000, which that's a lot of money for a RAV4. But that said, this is by far the nicest RAV4 that they've ever built. And the interior quality of this car is up to something that's around that price point. But again, over $40,000 is a lot to consider uh, for a compact crossover like the RAV4. So 41 grand, what do we get in options? It's mainly interior options, including $1,000 for a cold weather package, which is a little funny because it's 83 outside and humid as I talk about a cold weather package. But for some people in the country, that makes a lot of sense. And with it, you do get ventilated seats. So heated and ventilated front seats. And then over here, you have a heated steering wheel as well. You also get rain sensing windshield wipers for $1,000. Uh, $1,600 is going to get you the 11 speaker optional JBL audio system. And that is also tied in with factory navigation. So all RAV4s come standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but the only way you're gonna get it into that bigger JBL audio system is by getting the factory navigation as well. The nav I could do without, the JBL system is fantastic. $1,600, to me that's worth it, but just depends on how you wanna spec the car. Uh, and then finally, the most expensive option, $1,950 for some added safety kit. And it's mainly the 360 degree camera, which you can see over on the right hand side of the screen. Then you get wireless phone charging as well. So that's always nice. Throw your phone, but down on the wireless charging pad. I'm not sure if you can get that as a standalone option, but it does come with this added safety kit for $1,950. Otherwise in the interior, we have these cool TRD. They're not leather. I forgot what Toyota calls, calls them, but they're like leatherette seats. And there's a fun design that goes in the middle. It's a little more rugged looking. Uh, this car has these floor mats as well. And then the cargo mat in the rear. This red contrast stitching looks nice. I mean, I have to say this is the best looking interior of a new RAV4 that I've seen yet. We had the Adventure a couple of months ago and that had some orange accents, which looked a little funky, but this is cool. You have red accents over a black interior and it looks really, really nice. Um, we talked about some of the other TRD off-road specific things you get with this car, mainly that suspension. That is the biggest reason to get into this specific model if you're going to do some off-roading. I do want to draw your attention down here as well though, because this is one of the major highlights with the TRD off-road, uh, the terrain select system. I should point out though that you can also get this, actually come standard with the RAV4 Adventure. So the RAV4 Adventure is $2,000 cheaper to start than the TRD off-road, but you don't get the specific TRD tuned suspension. The car I'm in right now, the off-road, is the only one out of the whole lineup that gets that beefier suspension. That said, it also gets this. So the train select system, just like you see it in a lot of other cars, um, 
it's basically going to make the car more responsive in hairier conditions. So in addition to the drive mode select, you have three modes with eco, normal, and sport. Down here, there's three specific modes. So mud and sand is when you go to the left, and that's going to change some of the traction control settings. And then it's also going to alert the car that you're off-road and it doesn't need uh, the front end collision warning system. And then there's a dedicated rock and dirt crawl mode again. And finally, a mode for snow. So that basically brings us to a close here. Those are the biggest, most important details on this 2020 Toyota RAV4 TRD off-road. Thanks for joining.